Well, what I prepared this lesson for, for children of about, of about 13 years old. Um, and it's called, the lesson is called Structures. In this, next, in this lesson, we, we uh, talk about different issues, structures, classification, forces, structural elements, stiffness, and here I, I've added some vocabulary and readings for, for where I took this, uh, this lesson. Well, uh, so I'm going to speak as I was in the classroom. Uh, a structure, a structure is a. We we say a structure is a group of elements united to to support a load with a stability. And uh, with a stability, it means without falling down. Um, example: We can uh, think of structures, and structures are bridges, electricity pylons, or dams. Yeah, and many others, so as simple as chairs or tables or almost anything, almost anything we, we have around have its own structure. Here you can see a modern skyscraper with, with, uh, his, with its structure. It's formed by, its, its structure is formed by two parts. We one of the uh, one of them is a skeleton or frame made of steel, which are made made of ladders. Uh, and the other part of the structure is the skin of the skyscraper, the skin of this uh, of this of this structure. These are two types of structure: the the frame and the and the scheme, we will talk about later. Yeah, structure. Now we go with classification. A structure can be classified in two group, groups, shell structures and frame structures. Shell structures are the structures in which the strength relows into the outer surface. Like in an egg, the structure of an egg is the, the surface of the egg. And it has the, the resistance enough because you can try to you can squeeze the egg. If you put the, the egg vertically, you can squeeze the egg and you uh, and the egg Will, will not break because the uh, shell structure has the resistance to, to support that uh, force. It's an example of shell structure. You can, you can also find um, structures that uh, have a combination of both, of both structures. Shared structures and frame structures. An example is uh, a chair, for instance. The, the, there's a tubular steel frame structure whose function is to support the load and a shell structure where it's a tongue. Frame structures. And now we'll talk about frame structures. Uh, frame structures are structures that have a skeleton associated with them. An example are leaves uh, that have it is uh, on a skeleton and uh, and the skin on the skeleton. If if the structure has no skin on on it, uh, we call open frame. And spider web is is an example of. Open frame. So, force, we can define force in a structure 
as an agent that causes stress or compression in a fixed body related to the structure. Well, in a structure, um, a structure is made to support loads that act on the whole, over the whole of the structure. But these loads into the structure um, become these, these uh, five types of force. These are the types of force that act on, on any element of a structure. These forces are tension, we say um, tension is a force that tries to stretch or lengthen an object. We, we say uh, an object is uh, suffering tension when it's, uh, we, we're trying to stretch or lengthen the object. The object. We say uh, compression. We say that uh, an object is suffering compression when we try to squash or shorten the object. If we try to bend the, the object, we say the, ob the object is suffering bending. And if we try to twist the object, we say that the object is suffering torsion. And if we try to cut the object, or, um, we apply an object forces like this that uh, act uh, very close one to the other and the opposite directions, we say that the, the body, the, the body, the object is suffering share. And these are the five forces that act on any element of the force. And if you want to learn more about forces, these are the elements of the force. Elements of the force, call them foundations, beams, columns. And so on, in which uh, upon these elements act the forces we have uh, studied in the previous the forces. And this difference is another quality of, um, of the structures. <laughs> uh, that means that we say that a structure is uh, stiff if is if the structure is safe and not fail under the conditions which, which is, is, it is designed. In this example, we can, we can see a figure uh, that, is, uh, not, that has no stiffness, it's not stiff, because if you uh, push the, if you push the um, structure like this, it, it will move, it will move. If you want it to be the structure uh, be stiff, you can put in an element like this, uh, and you will get uh, these two tri triangles which are uh, stiff. 